everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Survival from Python. So hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day. In today's episode, we're actually going to be doing some exploring. So the comment question of one of the previous episodes was from Bump Staggers, who says, yes, projects are important, but I love the exploration. My favorite part, to be honest. Great work, sir. As always, appreciate the kind words. And yeah, I would agree. I really do enjoy exploring in this world. And I actually do have a reason for exploring today as well. And we're going to be exploring the desert. We discovered a large desert previously, and I got a feeling we didn't explore all of it i feel like we could probably explore some more and maybe find some more desert temples because desert temples are probably the best place to find bones that is right my friends we are looking for bones because we have but one bit of white dye we need a lot more not only for the white concrete powder but also for the stained glass that we have going on here now of course uh, there's a whole bunch of other stuff so we can get a desert temples as well as you guys know enchanted books diamonds emeralds horse armor all that kind of stuff it's gonna be a fantastic time so guys if you're excited for today's exploration episode as always a like rating would be very much appreciated if we can keep it up with 2,000 likes per episode then that would be awesome so without further ado we're gonna go back to our mining desert biome and then we're gonna explore from there Alrighty, guys so to make this a little bit more dangerous i'm actually not going to allow myself to sleep the reason, I'm pretty sure, is fairly obvious because, uh, well, you know, I want bones. So, yeah, staying awake at night is probably the best way of doing that. So, there we go. There's there's a whole bunch of skeleton residue all over the place, actually. Uh, but, obviously, we need to try and keep our inventory as clear as we possibly can. Uh, good day to you, sir. Get wrecked and get wrecked. Go on. I want the XP as well. I wouldn't mind getting back up to 30 levels. I think that would be pretty awesome. Uh, yeah, there's rather a lot of stuff going on here, isn't there? <laughs> I've killed a bunch of mobs here before. And, uh, well, it was while I was trying to get a bunch of sand, which, as you can see, a bunch of exposed sandstone. Uh, so, yeah. I just kind of needed it. You know what I'm saying? All right, horsey. Let's get out of here, shall we? So, we need to go. I believe it's east, actually, to uh, go to the other uh, biome. So, yeah. Aha! So, it's becoming night time, which means we can have a little bit of a mob rampage. Yeah! And some more skeleton residue of awesomeness. Oh, jeez, man. Okay. Hey, I wonder if I could get a CD. Hey, buddy. CD? 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 Yay! I got a CD! Oh, my gosh! Your, your reward for allowing me to get a CD is death. Thank you. Appreciate you. Oh my god, we got Stal as well. For those of you guys unaware, Stal is the music I use in the intro of every single one of these episodes. So, that's kind of epic. <laughs> awesome. All right. Well, 13 bones so far. That's a good little start, right? The more we get, the better. Alrighty, guys. So, we're starting to come across the old desert temples that we have explored. So, yep, there's one of them because we put a torch up. So, yeah, I think it's always worth putting up torches or just some sort of indication to say, uh, you know, this has been explored. So you can see from a distance, you could just, you know, bypass it, go find yourself another one, I guess. So yeah. Whoa. Hey guys, check it out. Ocean ruins that are beached up on the, uh, on the land here. That is very strange. Okay. Uh, oh, there's one with a shell. Oh, it's not like shells are pretty much worthless to us now. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, one of them's got a trident. Hey, we've got a trident opportunity here, ladies and gentlemen. Right, where is this freaking jerk? Hello? Okay. Not you. Ow! Okay. Right, I'm going to kill all of your buddies. Right. Yeah, yep. Yeah, you get you get deaded. You can also get deaded. I need to kill that trident yielding dude. Where is he? No, that's not him. It's this guy. It's this guy. Hey! I'm going to kill you. Ow! And I'm going to grab your trident. Go on. Boom! And he didn't drop it. What an absolute jerk. Unbelievable. I'm going to kill your son for that. Hey, guys. Well, uh, since we found this, uh, you know, ruin, we might as well check out the buried treasure. Uh, oh, okay. We're already kind of near it. Cool. Right. Let's go grab our horsey. Where are you at, Mr. Horse? Uh, horsey? Horsey? Horse? Hello? Where did you go? Uh-oh. 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 
Where's the horse, man? Wait. I can hear it. What? Is it invisible? I think it might be invisible. Hang on. Let, let's 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 test that theory out real quick. Right. And go back into the world. Yes. Uh, yes, it is invisible. Okay. Well, you're just kind of stupid, aren't you? You're not freaking Houdini, you jerk. No, 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 no. Big no-nos. Alrighty, guys. Oh, and it's there. <laughs> well, there we go. Another heart of the sea and a whole bunch of treasure. Yeah, and a diamond for our troubles and some food. Right, let's break that chest. Uh, and then we're going to get rid of all of the junk we have. I mean, Nautilus shells. We've got a lot of those. We'll get rid of the leather tunic. We'll get rid of the prismarine crystals as well. We just don't need them. It's as simple as that. Right, uh, rid that. And Mr. Horse is over here. Awesome. Come on. Right, now then, back to our goal of trying to find some ocean monuments. That's what we're trying to do today. Not ocean ruins. Wait, did I say ocean monuments? I meant desert temples. That's what I meant. That's what I want to try and find. Yeah. <laughs> but I can't resist. Guys, I can't resist. You know what? I am going to maybe just get this. Uh, some iron. Uh, yeah, most of that isn't actually that useful. Uh, we'll leave that behind. But where's the map? It's usually in here, isn't it? Map? Hello? Very treasure map. Is it a different one? Uh, oh, it is. Okay, cool. That's epic. Uh-huh. And a couple books. Right, I'll take the books. I'll take the feather as well. If I do you know, I'll just take the whole lot. Sod it. <laughs> Why the heck not? Right. And we are good to go. Right. I guess once again, we're finding treasure. Oh, Mr. Horsey. We are doing all the things I wasn't intending on doing today. Uh, okay. I mean, whatever, right? <laughs> whatever. Treasure is treasure. Diamonds are diamonds. Books are books. Temples are temples. All of this stuff is epic. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you can't complain about it. Oh, and would you look at that? There is indeed a desert temple here, and there's treasure not too far away from it. That's kind of epic. All right, uh, I don't think... Yeah, we haven't explored this one. The, uh, the, the entrance is, like, completely concealed. Uh-huh. Okay, right, we need to go ahead and put you in the hole. There you go. Right, and then we need to, like, uncover the entrance. I feel like I'm from the Time Team. That old BBC show, Time Team. Or was it Channel 4 now? I don't know. I don't watch daytime television because, quite frankly, it sucks. So, yeah, anyways, uh, we should probably put, like, a couple torches up just to say, oh, hey, we are now exploring this thing. All uh, right, and down we go. We'll get the TNT, disarm the trap, and everything will be fine. Oh, that was a bit of lag. Hello. Right, uh-huh. Ah, you see, you gotta love having TNT. Oh, yes. Right, we should probably put a torch down there as well, just because uh, we should. Uh-huh. Okay, right, let's uh, let's get ourselves out. There we go. Put a torch down here. And what have we got? Blast protection too. More than anything, I want bones. Aha, uh -huh, yes. 55, two golden apples in one go. Hey, that's pretty good. All right, and uh, gold horse armor, some more bones. Okay, take the emerald, definitely. Uh, I mean, I'm tempted to take the string simply because I don't really have a uh, an endless supply of that. So, yeah, I'm going to put that in there as well. And I'll take the sand because, you know, we need to be able to pillow our way back out of here, right? So, yeah. So, I normally grab the string because I like being able to make wool uh, for beds and whatever else we might need. Uh, so, yeah, that's all good. All right. So, another desert temple, another bunch of bones. Things are looking good. Things are looking on the up, my friends. And not only that, of course, but we have some treasure. All right. So, uh, let's get on our horse. And according to this, the treasure is like right at the top of the map over this way. Uh, so I think it might just be, like, down here. Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Right. Again, put you in a hole. We're gonna look for the treasure. Ah! That was easy. It's right there. <laughs> ah, you gotta love it when you don't have to take much time to do things in Minecraft. It's kind of epic. Right, uh, do you know what? We might as well... I'm gonna break the chest, but I'm gonna leave the food behind. Because let's be honest, guys... You know as well as I do, we have a stupid amount of freaking fish-related food back at base. We just don't need it. So, yeah. All right, well, that's now two unique treasure maps explored. All right, let's go back into the desert and let's see if we can find some more temples, I guess. Plenty of cave systems around. I wonder if we can find any surface dungeons as well. That'd be kind of epic. Alrighty, guys, not only do we have a village here, but we have another desert temple. However... 
I have a feeling we may have explored this one. Something tells me I've already explored it. Did I just not put torches up? Because I'm pretty damn sure I remember coming to one that's like very weirdly on the coast. Or did I? Is there a... Oh my god, the pressure plate's still there. It is a different one. All right, well, once again, horse in the hole. Let's do it. Alrighty, knock back two, a whole bunch more bones. Okay, this bone collection is starting to look very attractive now. Uh, got way more than a stack at this point. Uh-huh, uh-huh, looking good. Got some more string. Uh, plenty of gunpowder in that one. Uh, we've got diamond horse armor. Ooh, actually, we haven't got any horse armor on our horse. Uh, I mean, it makes sense to get some on him, you know, extend his life, uh, reach, life expectancy, I guess, is the word. I don't know, I'm being dumb. Anyways, uh, there we go, and we just need two of them, so we'll just chuck the other seven down there. Boom, boom. Okay, cool. Right, uh, let's go ahead and signify that it's explored with a couple of torches, and off we go. Do we want to explore this village as well? I mean, we might as well. We're here, aren't we? It makes sense. Uh, I wonder if there's like a horse pen I could put this guy in. There's certainly a lot of hay bales, all of which I'd very much like to pick up. Because, yeah, hay bales are epic, especially for healing and breeding horses. Cool. All right, let's see what we can find, huh? All righty, villagers, I hope you have adequate protection because, as I said, I'm not sleeping the night away because I want to have skeletons and whatnots and... Oh god, I'm I'm a weirdo, aren't I? I actually want this stuff. I want this stuff to be in my life. I'm so strange. Anyways, uh, dead bushes. I mean, ordinarily I'd take them, but I need to keep my inventory free for the most part. Also, I forgot to put the diamond horse armor in this guy. There you go. Enjoy. Right, uh, right, i tell you what. Go on, in your houses with you. Go on. Oh, here we go. It's happening, guys. It's happening. Oh, jeez. All right, get out of here, bud. There you go. Right. More hay bales, please. Whoa! Ah! Ah! Oh, my goodness me. Oh, I thought it was coming after me for a minute. I was trying to help you protect the village and stuff there, bud. Guys, check this house out. It is literally above a pit of death, which that creeper has just experienced. Look how deep that goes. What the hell? I'm pretty sure there's an abandoned mine shaft right at the bottom there. Oh, my goodness me. What a place to put a house, though, guys. <laughs> oh, that's terrifying. <laughs> Come on, then, Enderman. You know you want me. You know you want to try it on. Come on, then. Right, I need your ender balls because eventually we'll be heading to the end and doing uh, ender dragon related stuff. Thank you. Right, and buddy, come back up here. There, there, there. Oh, there you go. You'll love to see it. You gotta love it. Wow, three ender balls. Is that it? Wow. What a bunch of stingy bums. <laughs> Aha! Oh, whoa. Okay. Oh, hey. Guys, so not only do we have yet another village and temple right next to each other, we also appear to have found ourselves a mesa biome. Ooh. It is going to be worth making a portal over here, my friends. That is for sure. Hell yeah. I mean, if we ever needed hardened clay or anything like that, you know, this is the place. Right, are there, oh god, yeah, there's there's like a small uh, takeover going on here. Anyways, uh, we need some sort of pen to put this guy in. Uh, oh my god, a donkey. Hello. You are beautiful, sir. Right, let's get you put in there. And yes, let's explore this village real quick. Hopefully, there's some epic stuff. Uh, this is a cartographer's house. Wow, with a, with a lone compass. Interesting. Ooh. Melons. That's kind of cool. Well, there seems to be plenty of cartographer houses. Ah, yes. That's what I'm looking for. Some nice empty maps as loot. That's fan freaking tastic. What have we got in here? This is a Fletcher's house. Okay. That's kind of cool. I'm down with that. All right. Well, that's just about it for this particular. Oh. Enderman. Ooh. Hang on. Hang on. Wait. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, that, that was a thing that just happened. That's, uh, that, 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 that was a thing that just happened. All right. Ah, oh, the Enderman despawned right in front of my very eyes. You absolute bums, man. I can't believe it. 
I really wanted those Endermen as well. The more Ender Balls I get, the easier things are going to be when we eventually, you know, go to the end and stuff. Hey, that is a very healthy supply of bones we've got going on here, my friends. Oh, yes. Uh, wait, where did all of my string go? What? Did I chuck all of my string away? Oh, for goodness sake, Python. Wait, seriously? I don't remember chucking the string away. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Huh. Eh, okay. Weird, weird, weird things are happening. Weird things are happening. I'm, I'm apparently, like, in autopilot mode, and I just don't know what's going on anymore. So, uh, yeah, that's that's a thing that sometimes happens. <laughs> oh, jeez, man. All right, well, is there going to be anything cool inside the Mesa biome? I mean, abandoned mine shafts on the surface? That is one thing that can happen there. Uh, gold ore also at the surface is something that can happen there. Uh-huh. It might be worth just... I don't know. I mean, I still want to find more desert temples because, like I say, they're probably the best place to find bones. But also, abandoned mine shafts. You can definitely find bones in those chests as well, as far as I can remember. Right? So, I don't know. Might be worth, you know, just having a little bit of a roam around. Alrighty, guys. So, we've just been heading north, pretty much, with the mesa at our right. And, well, as you can see, there appears to be yet another desert temple. This is... Fantastic! I love the fact that I could just find these things super easy. Right. Ah, the usual standard procedure. Horse and hole. Go explore. Get TNT. Get rewarded. And uh, uh, steal everything that's in there. Yeah. That, that, that sounds about right. Well, guys. Oh, thorns won. Okay, that's kind of cool. We've started our third stack of bones here, which is awesome. I am happy. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Right. Uh, I mean, I, I, once again, I could take the string... Uh, because, like I say, I like making, uh, stuff, wool for paintings and such, and carpets, and yeah, you guys know how it is. Uh, so, yeah, the only thing is, I don't have any torches. I've got no torches to, like, easily signify the fact that I've already explored here. Uh, is there, like, something I could put down? Maybe a couple hay bales that will free up another space in my inventory? Uh, yeah, okay. I'm probably the first person in history to use hay bales as a way of signifying the fact I've explored somewhere. Eh, why not? <laughs> it's just so stupid. Oh, I love it. Oh my god, guys. I can actually see an abandoned mine shaft up the surface straight away in this mesa biome. I can see the cobwebs. Can you guys see the cobwebs? I can see the cobwebs. They're like up in that mountain there, huh? Oh. Okay. This is epic. Oh. Okay. Random rails. Okay, okay, okay. I see you, Minecraft. I see you. There's all sorts of stuff going on here. There's even a spider spawner at the surface. That is... That's kind of epic, actually. I like that. Uh, 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 uh. Yep, that's not a good idea. Yep. Good, good job, Python. You, you, you should have thought about that, huh? Right. Any chests? Hmm. Wow. Dude. There's a lot of stuff going on here. Cool. Look at all the gold. This is, this is cool. I like it, man. All right, I feel like I should get off my horse and explore this place a little bit. If I could get some more bones, that'd be kind of cool. Well, guys, unless I manage to find some coal, I'm a little bit stranded for light at the moment. Uh, we do have lapis. We've got bread in there. Uh, I mean, I guess that's kind of cool. I mean, we do have wood from the mineshaft itself. Aha! Yes, uh, and that's just, it doesn't have fortune on it, but uh, I guess I can work with it. I just want the, I just want some light, man. That's all I want. Just a little bit of light to illuminate the situation. You guys know how it goes at this point. Uh, right. Wait, didn't I dig up six blocks? Where did the sixth wood block go? Oh, it's up there. I'm so dumb. Anyways. <laughs> <sighs> coal, please! Yay! I love it. I never thought I'd be so excited to see coal. Oh, so beautiful. I wish I bought my fortune pickaxe, but then again, I didn't realize I would find a mesa by him. So, uh, yeah, there's not really too much I could do about it, is there? Anyways, uh, we could do with chucking something. We have quite a lot of Nautilus shells back at base. I think at this point, like I say, they're actually kind of worthless to me. So, yeah, I don't think we need to worry about them. So, yeah. Anyways, let's see if we can find some more epic stuff, shall we? Oh, my God. It's like gold rush. Look at this, my friends. There's so much gold down here. Ah, oh, I forgot about this. Honestly, this is like one of the most underrated features in Minecraft. If you ever want a bunch of gold and you haven't got a gold farm, go to a Mesa biome. <laughs> They're the best places to get gold. I mean, just look at it. There's so much. It's so epic. 
Oh, so brilliant. Alrighty, guys, we've actually got another chest here. Multi shot is a decent enchantment for a crossbow, but uh, I've already got a couple of them back at base from AFK Fishing, so I don't really need to worry about that. If I could find a mending book here, on the other hand, that actually would be epic. I'm just saying, that would be amazing. Right, hello there, and dead. Goodbye. All right, any more chests for the Pythonator? That would be kind of nice. Uh-huh, uh-huh, okay, okay. What about down here? No. Hmm, okay. Right, I mean, oh. Oh, hello, villager zombie. Ordinarily, I would try to cure you, but you're like several thousand blocks away from base. So, probably not worth it. I'm going to be honest with you. Ah, another name tag, another bunch of torches, and not a whole bunch of anything else, to be honest. I mean, like I say, more than anything, we're looking for bones. So, yeah. Wow. This mineshaft goes on for freaking ages, dude. Dude. <laughs> oh, I love exploration episodes. Like, honestly, one thing can lead to another that can lead to another, and then another thing as well. It's so cool. I love exploration in Minecraft nowadays. There's so much to do. There really, really is. Oh. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a snow biome. Right next to a very hot mesa biome. Huh. I always thought the terrain generator in Minecraft would, like, not do this. Put a super cold biome next to a super hot one. But, uh, yeah. Here we are. <laughs> Here we freaking are, guys. Okay. I mean, this is pretty cool. We have not only a mesa biome, but we have a nice cold uh, snowy biome as well. That's kind of cool. Get it? Cool, because I'm um, sorry. I keep making that joke. It's terrible. It really, really is. But ladies and gentlemen, I think a good explorer knows when to stop. So I think we are just out. I think we're just about good to go to stop. So I think we're going to try and head back try to head back anyway to the desert portal and then yeah we can leave our horse here because you know this guy is like amazing you know basically being our trusty steed for this episode so yeah i'm happy all right let's try and get back to the portal huh Alrighty, guys so here we are back at the nether portal all right buddy you have done fantastic today you've got yourself diamond horse armor i mean come on that's pretty epic, isn't it? And in terms of our own loot, we've got a fair amount of bones here. Two and a half stacks near us, damn it. And then a whole bunch of other various goodies. A stack of gold ore, quite a lot of TNT, diamond horse armor, a few diamonds, a few heart of the sea, a stack of hay bales, and just all in all, a pretty productive trip, if I do say so myself. I mean, more than anything, I just wanted the bones for the white dye, but uh, we've come out with so much more, and I am happy. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to wrap it up for today's episode. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode, a nice exploration episode for you guys, then please do be sure to drop a like rating, hit the subscribe button, ding that bell if you guys don't want to miss out on future content. But as always, my friends, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's episode.